I try to focus all my updates around three areas, image quality, workflow, and compatibility. So let's look at each of these. When version 2.0 came out, it had a completely rebuilt tonal engine that provided more accurate negative analysis and allowed for smoother, more accurate control. It also included a new color balancer called AutoColor 2.0, which was built specifically for correcting color balances in negative film. Version 2.1 builds on these imaging improvements. Users can now control the black clipping and white clipping points directly. This is something that a lot of users had been asking for for a while, and it fits perfectly with Native Lab Pro's raw, non-destructive workflow. There are two new tone profiles, Linear Flat and Linear Deep. Linear Flat produces a flat, low contrast result with lots of headroom for editing. Linear Deep is very close to pure linear, but with a little more dimension and pop to it. If you use the sliders to balance your colors, I've also added improvements to the color slider algorithms, so you should notice more natural results. I've also added new dual illuminate U-Scan and Silverfast profiles. So if you're using a raw DNG workflow with U-Scan or Silverfast, you should see major improvements. In terms of workflow, version two added a lot of things. It added better batch processing, the ability to save your default settings, and a border buffer control that allows you to keep your film borders during conversion. Version 2.1 makes Negative Lab Pro an even better workflow solution with a new metadata tool built just for film shooters. The film metadata is organized around a typical film process and it's actually built directly into Lightroom's own metadata engine. And this means that it's gonna be fast and easy to use with things like autocomplete, selectable dropdowns, metadata presets, and syncing across photos. Having this film-specific metadata is such a powerful way to start sorting and organizing your film catalog. So as part of this metadata workflow, I've added a new custom export service that lets you control how your film metadata is written to your exported files. You can choose things like overriding standard EXIF tags, building dynamic smart captions, and automatically generating keywords. All this means that when you go to share on services like Flickr, all of your analog info is already there, perfectly written. And finally, in terms of compatibility, version 2.0 began to offer limited scanner model support for ViewScan raw DNG files. Version 2.1 is a major improvement for compatibility. It now offers complete scanner model support for ViewScan raw DNGs, and it now offers complete support for Silverfast HDR DNG files. This is made possible by the new dual illuminate scanner profiles and a simple utility that will help make sure that your files are compatible. Also, the TIFF scan prep utility has been completely revamped with a more powerful and accurate algorithm. So if you're scanning in linear TIFFs, this is something that you're definitely going to want to take advantage of. This video only scratches the surface of what's possible now with your film negatives and Negative Lab Pro. So be sure to subscribe for new videos. Right now I'm working on in-depth videos on how to use the new metadata tool, getting better color balance, working with black and white negatives, and using this in your own view scan or silver fast raw workflow. To try this out, you can download a free 12 shot trial at negativelabpro.com. And if you've already purchased Negative Lab Pro, these updates are free. Also, check out the hashtag Negative Lab Pro on Instagram to see how film photographers around the world are using Negative Lab Pro in their own workflows. Thanks for watching, and let me know what you think in the comments below.